risk management is a subject that is very much in vogue in our modern world. At the heart of risk management is the matter of risk assessment. For us to understand the risk assessment process, we need to have a working definition of risk. Risk is defined by ISO 31000 as the effect of uncertainty on objectives. The effect can be positive, upside, or downside, negative. We have a broad definition. This broad definition enables us to look at risk from a broad perspective. Risk constitutes opportunities, possibilities of gain, or downside risks, negatives, which suggest losses. For us to get to the real purpose of uh, risk assessment, we must understand that organizations of all types face risks. These risks can affect the achievement of their objectives. Objectives may range from the organization's uh, activities at a strategic level, so strategic initiatives, uh, its operations, its processes, as well as its projects. Risks are reflected in uh, societal terms, environmental, technological, safety and security, commercial, financial, economic measures, as well as social, cultural, political, and reputational related risks. We generally speak about reputational risks, risk to stakeholders, health, safety, and environment risks, financial risks, technological risks, risk related to asset integrity, commercial risks, security risk, legal risk, and of course, natural and man-made events. A wide range indeed. Well, at the heart of the risk management process is a sub-process called risk assessment. Risk assessment consists of identification of risks, analyzing of risks, evaluation of risks, and then determining what method to, to use in treating risks. All of this takes place within a context, and it's important to establish the context, to communicate and consult internally as well as externally, and of course, monitoring and reviewing is essential. Let us consider the process of risk assessment. In identifying risks, we need to consider what can go wrong. So what can happen and why? This is identifying the risks. What are the consequences? What is the probability of future occurrence? Are there factors in place which can mitigate the existing risks? This is looking at the risk assessment process from a broad perspective. The identification aspects require that we pinpoint the hazards, the event, and in terms of the event, we consider the occurrence as well as the non-occurrence, natural or man-made disasters, upsides and downside possibilities. For example, in food safety, we know that there are three basic hazards, physical, chemical, and microbiological. We need to consider all of these. Then there is a uh, quality, quality risks. We consider factors that could uh, decrease customer satisfaction. Then we need to look at health, safety, and environment, another broad area. So we consider here risks of injury to people or negative impacts on the environment. Mm -hmm. 
What is this? We here determine likelihood and consequences of the risk. Here we need to consider confidence levels where these are uh, practical. We need to separate minor risks from major. And risk analysis provides data that feeds right into the next stage, which is risk evaluation. Here we consider the needs for treatment. We decide whether the risk can be tolerated. Is it in keeping with the risk tolerance of the organization or the entity? We decide whether the activity should really be undertaken. We look at priorities for treatment. What are we going to tackle first? Then we compare the level of risk found in the analysis with previously established criteria. So these are the basic segments, the fundamentals of risk assessment. First, identification, then analysis, followed by risk evaluation, and then we consider options for treatment. Risk management, the key to success in the modern world, and at the heart of risk management is the process of risk assessment. Consider well as you engage in this process. Thank you.